All right, so you guys are probably wondering about the title of this video. Um, so basically why I'm going back to the Road to Twistabo series, because I do still want a Twistabo and a lot of the other raids items, but bossing for Bibles or pet hunting for Bibles um, is kind of achieved already. I mean, two of the main Bibles I wanted to get, or the most expensive Bibles, have already been achieved. 99 Construction and 99 Crafting. Those are two of the best Bible 99s that you can get. I already have 99 Cooking Bank, I just have to get around to doing it. And the other ones that you that really you can buy is Smithing and Herbler. And neither of those really benefit me when I get the cape, as well as uh, farming. So those are the three or four main, and Fletching, but I mean, you don't really get too many uh, perks from the capes. Like the Construction Cape and the Crafting Cape gives you two of the best perks that you can get in game for a 99. So. What I'm doing is going back to the Road to Twisted Bow series. I'm going for Twisted Bow. I'm still going to be doing pet hunting um, through the Road to Twisted Bow series. So any money I make from pet hunting, like uh, with raids pet hunting, um, Godward Dungeon pet hunting, uh, Wildy Boss pet hunting, um, all that money I'm going is going to go towards Twisted Bow. And um, I also want to get the Kodai wand and eventually get the Ellie back. So I mean, there's, there's a lot of there's a long ways I have to go with the series still anyway. And you'll see the amount of money I made in this episode is pretty insane. So without further ado, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do like to see this series back, go ahead and smash that like button. If you don't, tell me in the description why. Um, but I think this is really the best of all, um, really the best well-rounded um, series to continue on my channel uh, for the people that originally subscribed for it. So hope you guys enjoy. Testing my luck out at the Fountain of Rune. <laughs> Damn it. Run. And go in one more time. I have like three glories on me. Come on. Rip. Alright, I just want to do a quick little bank update with you guys. I, uh, I lost a lot of money from doing 99 crafting and construction. About, probably about 300 mil. Because that was about 1.3 bill uh, bank. So I'm under uh, a bill right now. And with the Zora update. So, um, but it was worth it because I got the construction cape and the crafting cape trim. So... Uh, that's awesome. So this is just a quick little bank update. Not a whole lot has changed. Um, this is like really not only my junk tab, but um, all my teleports got my capes there now. Farming gear. Um, I don't know if I want to keep those there or not, but my cannon. Uh, other food drops. Gonna keep these mana rays here now because Zoro. Um, this is my uh, kind of my skilling tab now. I got a bunch of farming supplies in there, um, and the magic saplings have kind of gone up a good amount in price, which isn't too bad. Um, so I'm gonna keep those. This is my regular gear, and the people that bought the imbued heart for cheap made a lot of money on it because now it's 3.32 mil, which is insane. Um, holy shit, Ancestral has dropped a lot. It was like 170 mil. That sucks. Oh, damn. Armadillo's gone up to 32 mil. I might start going back to Arma. That's pretty insane. Um, and then also, guys, if you didn't know, the Ring of Suffering dropped down to about 10 mil. Um, and people that bought those probably made a good, a good chunk of money on that. I'm sure the Performance of Bracelet may have dropped as well. Yeah, that's, that's pretty insane, considering that it costs the same to make all four of those amulets and everything. So, um, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, loot tab is not too bad right now. Done some Zola run stuff, so, um, yeah, bank is looking pretty average. Just a bunch of um, pots that I need to decant and other things as well. So, um, yeah, not a whole lot of change, guys. This is my tab for um, clue scrolls and, so, and whatnot, so... And then it just goes on to these two junk tabs. So, yeah, that was just a quick little bank update I wanted to keep you guys um, informed on. All right, guys, now doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I wanted to remove this fairy ring, and I want to create the best one I can do. Oh, I need to go get a fairy enchantment. Crap. All right, got my fairy enchantment, guys. We can finally make this. I'm pretty stoked about this, finally. Uh, like I said, I've been meaning to do this for a while. Oh, yes, guys. That is sick. That is sick. Alright guys, we made it to DKs. We have 198 on task, which is pretty huge. Um, hopefully we can get something good. We are still hunting for the Rex pet to complete DK. So, wish us luck. Nice, a drop coming in already. And this was from Rex, which is who I need the uh, uh, the pet from. That's not too bad, though. Uh, we'll knock that out for this after this trip. Well, first real, I guess, signature drop coming in, which isn't too bad. <laughs> Warrior's ring could have been a uh, Berserker ring, but... That's okay. Uh, that is okay. I actually did get a um, Dragonstone from um, Supreme as well. I didn't pick it up though. 
Alrighty, Rex coming in with the uh, hard clue scroll now as well. I've gotten the elite clue scroll from Rex and now the hard. And he just dropped me a prayer potion. That's kind of strange. Kind of strange. And task complete, guys. Well, actually not task complete. I got 36 left on task, but I was doing it pretty AFK. Brought nine sand fuse with me. I was only prey flicking supreme. Um, loot, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't the greatest. Uh, 161 bones and a lot of rare drops. I also got, so a rune kite shield, rune square shield. I got a Actually, two more of these on the ground that I did not pick up. Some snap seeds, and I got the dragon, so I didn't pick up as well. But 2.1 mil, it's, uh, it's not too bad, guys. Not too bad. All right, so me and my friend want to do some DH fights. Um, so we're going to see how it freaking goes. Oh, <laughs> good fight, bro. GG. Oh, my God. Wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There we go. I don't know why I pre-venged there. So I'm still venged, I'm pretty sure. He hasn't hit me yet. There we go. Oh! <laughs> 75! We 75 them! Oh my god. That was sick. <laughs> oh my. Oh, we got his whip. Dude, rip, bro. We got his fucking whip. <laughs> oh, no, I thought it was recording. Just wrecked him with the uh, Gmail. Damn it. All right, gonna solve my winnings there. Um, It was pretty good. I got uh, three sets of DH, about 9.4 mil. Jesus. Just finishing up my hard clue scroll from uh, DK. So nice. We're gonna open it in the wilderness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, guys. So I got the clue scroll. I got to fix a magical lamp in the Dorgish Khan. Um, this has taken people hours before, so I'm hoping we get lucky. I might set a timer to see how long it takes us. Well, that literally just took me, like, the first world, and I, <laughs> I found one, which is nice. Hell yeah. And we finally got the elite casket. Let's go to... First time going to the crafting guild and opening a clue scroll. Let's see what we get. Deposit everything. Quick, be quick. And, oh. We get nothing. What just happened? Why didn't... That was weird. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh shit, first kill the trip guys. Archer's ring. Holy shit, I'm definitely glad I came back to DKs. Hell yes. <laughs> first kill of the trip. And damn, right after the archer's ring from Supreme, we get a hard clue scroll. RNG's on point right now, boys. RNG's on point. <laughs> As I complete my task, um, I get a far seer helm. <laughs> Damn it. Why didn't I get a seers? Let's go ahead and price check the remaining of the slew. I believe the first trip I did was about 2.2 mil. Um, let's go ahead and price check this. I'm not in combat anymore. There we go. So that's about 360k. Give or take, we got the Archer's Ring, almost forgot about that. And we got a Seer Coal, by the way, too. So about 3.2, so about 5 or 6 mil total uh, for the task. So not actually too bad. I would love the third would give us a boss task. We probably should get a Jad task, just so I can get another cape, so I can enter the Inferno. Raider's task, oh shit. Zami? And another casket coming in. Hard casket. Holy shit. <gasps> no. No. This is a hard clue scroll. What? Guys, no. Don't, please don't tell me. What the fuck? And here we go guys, another farming level coming in. This is gonna be level 93. Let me see if we unlock anything here. And nothing. So after that clue, I decided to do some raids just because that was pretty cringy. I don't know how rare that was because I got a Robin and three noted potions. So I don't know. We're going to do some duo raids and see if we can get lucky because our RNG seems to be on point today. All right, guys, this is a duo raid with my man Iron Bar. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he just got Ancestral Rope Top. No fucking way. No way! No way! What? What? Dude! <laughs> Dude!
dude. Oh my god. Holy shit. Guys, I don't know. Today's just my lucky day, man. It is just my lucky freaking day. What? I can't even... Oh, I didn't even collect my reward. Pfft. Holy shit. Holy shit. What's GE trade value? Let me check. Alright, so I'm getting my split from Asian Rice Cup. Um, his non-Iron Man account. Because he is an Iron Man. That's his second ancestral rope top on his account. Holy shit. 76 mil split, boys. That is freaking insane, man. That is so insane. Holy shit. Second one on his account. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Well, but just like that, my cash stack is 76 mil. Dude, that's like the biggest drop I split I could have gotten at raids other than like a Twisted Bow or I think Dragon Falls, which is freaking crazy, guys. I'm still like in shock because I did three raids prior to the duo I did with them and we didn't get anything. Oh my god, I'm still like crazy, crazy man. And that's task complete of the Greater's Dem Greater Demons. I didn't go to Zami just because I didn't find anybody to tank for me. We did get this Hard Clue Scroll though, so we're going to go ahead and do that next. And then we'll, maybe we'll get a new task first and then do the Hard Clue. Alright, last casket. We rolled rare drop table. Well, third age drop table, but we got the potions. Ooh, a Black Cavalier. Fancy that. Not bad. Look at what we have here. First, like, signature drop from Kraken, and honestly, I don't know how long. I haven't had any Kraken tentacles or um, Trident of the Seas, and like I said, it's been a long-ass time since I've been doing Kraken. <laughs> oh my god. Got pretty lucky with Sandfuse serums, that uh, that Kraken trip. Like, holy shit. <laughs> 283k in just Sandfuse. Uh, let's just go ahead and price check the whole loot here. Uh, pretty decent Kraken trip, I'm not gonna lie. Holy crap. At least a mil in loot. Yep. Hell yeah. That's super nice. Probably, or literally the worst raid I have probably ever done since the release of raids. Because this is so bad. We went some randoms and it just did not go good, guys. It did not go good. We I, I died one time. I had like 25 gay points. This is so bad. At least we finished somehow. Ooh, that was close. Is he dead yet? Holy shit. Oh! <laughs> we got a drop still. We got a fucking drop. Laugh. Oh my god. So we, that was a four, four man. There were some other randoms. That's dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. I guess I'm getting my split for the Twisted Buckler, which is not bad. 7.3 mil. That's better than nothing. Thank you for my pet and my ancestral bottoms. T, I'm the only one smiting. T Y, T Y, for I'm the smite. Me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my pet at? I I wanted. To... <laughs> I did call the drip. <laughs> Where's my? Yeah, <laughs> where's my pet at? Just did the split, guys. About a 5 mil split, which isn't too bad. So we're up to 91 mil, basically, from raids this episode, guys. That's insane. Insane. All right, guys. Inferno is coming out in just 30 seconds. I'm hoping OS Buddy does not screw up. If you, if you cannot tell, I am uh, still kind of sick. But, um, wish us luck. All right. Sacrificing the only fire cape that I actually have. <laughs> Sad. What? No! No! I wasn't praying the right prayer! Damn it! Ah! We gotta go in again, guys. Fucking hell, man. Got to wave 40. And 70 tasks in a row for the nice 75 points. Let's go get another task from Durdo. We decided to take a break from the uh, Inferno because we did four attempts and after that, you know, each attempt is like over an hour long. It just totally burns you out so i actually went on to do at least uh three more attempts uh my best record so far is about 40 way 47 um currently taking a break from it because it just there it takes a long ass time to do that it takes a long ass time well how ironic is that i get a jad task on the same day that the inferno comes out and surprisingly i sacrifice my only fire cape <laughs> to the inferno so i actually do need a um 
another fire cape now, so that actually works out perfectly. Wow. <laughs> Guys, just finished up my JAD task on the day that JAD came out. Uh, I got no pet. I'm actually not going to gamble this one um, because this is the only cape I have. Because I cape my only one to uh, the Inferno. So we're going to keep this one. And no pet for me. 42 minutes, not too bad. Oh shit guys, to start off the next episode, we got an avian -tease task. And if you guys did not know, armadillo gear and weapons and everything has just been rising because of the new void um, nerf to make, basically armadillo is like best in slot right now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go over to the GE and we are going to sell off the loot tab and see how much we have basically made this episode. Uh, we've made a lot and in the bank it's going to show basically that... Uh, the cash stack that we have it was up to like 92 mil but we spent a bunch of money on supplies for um for the inferno so let's go ahead into the loot tab see we got about 13 mil not too bad let's go ahead and sell this off and see how much we get all right after selling off most of the loot we are up to 11 mil which is not too bad uh, i think it's a little bit less than we were thinking but it's still all in all it's still not too bad 11.4 mil added to the bank that we had 96 mil guys now I was going to buy the Kodai, and, uh, the Kodai one, but it has skyrocketed since the release of the Inferno. So I'm going to keep this cash stack. I'm not going to turn it into platinum token just so I can, I like to see that cash stack basically. Um, but that is going to be money towards Twisted Bow and any other items I want to buy. Like um, primarily the Twisted Bow, but I also want to get like, um, sometimes I want to at least try out Dragon Claws bossing as well as the Kodai one and the Ellie. Um, so main focus right now would probably be, um, Twisted Bow, and then if I end up buying like an Ellie and a Code I want, and then I can just sell that once I have enough for a Twisted Bow. I don't know. What, let me go. Let me know what you guys think about that, as well as my outro coming up too. If you guys haven't seen it yet, tell me what you think of that too, because it's new since the last. <clears throat> ah, sorry, I've been sick, guys. Um, <clears throat> since the last two episodes. So hopefully you do enjoy. Um, if you guys did like this episode, you know, smash that like button. Feel free to join my clan chat. I'm always in my CC. And then my Discord and Twitch. I'm twi um, streaming on Twitch every Tuesdays and Thursdays. I was live earlier today. Might be later tonight as well. So definitely, please feel free to tune in when I am live. Go ahead and smash that follow button as well. So I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Probably about a week from today. If not, an Iron Man episode coming out then. So I'll see you guys later. And thanks for watching.